Today on VLAMP, we're showing you the ultimate camera rig and how you can build your own. Welcome everyone to VLAMP, video lighting, audio, music, and photography how-to show brought to you by MadhasmProductions.com. I am of course your host, Matt Haslam, and today, like I said, we're jumping into our professional camera rig and showing you how to build your own for your custom wants and needs. Now, a camera rig is very personal to the cameraman. It basically is your bread and butter when you're going out on shoots and you wanna make sure it's very comfortable for you and how exactly you shoot. So for us, we do a ton of documentary work, so having a microphone on this thing is a must have when we're doing a run and gun shoot. Um, when we're doing different sorts of live event videography, we want to change this thing into a shoulder rig where we can add two more rods to this thing and the shoulder pad that came with this camera rig and we can now have this whole thing as a professional camera rig with counterweights at the back. We also wanted this thing to have uh, a handle on the top here, which allows us to take this thing off a tripod and use it as a lower angle shot camera. Um, this is so useful and so helpful that we use it on almost every production we do. And it has gotten so many great shots over the years that I cannot imagine doing a production without this thing now. So the basic part of this camera rig is at the heart, a newer shoulder camera rig um, from amazon.com. I will leave a link in the description below to the actual one I'm talking about. Now I bought it for about $89 or so, um, but nowadays it's come down in price a little bit because they came out with a whole bigger set with a matte box, a focus block, and a top handle, which is all about $160 for that rig itself. But uh, the price has dropped a little bit, like I said, for the one that I have here. But those parts I built into a completely different thing because that camera rig, as you can see, has two handles on the front. And I really have no use for that because I need to focus and zoom my camera up here, which is a DSLR. So I can't hold a handle and zoom and focus at the same time. So what's the sense in having a second handle? Um, for me, I wanted to be able to adjust all these different parts and I took the entire rig completely apart and adjusted it into the camera rig that you see now, which allows me to have this handle at the top and a handle down here for when I'm using it as a handheld rig. Now, right here is where the camera is attached to this 15, 15 millimeter rod system. And this comes with your newer camera rig um, and allows you to have a quick release plate so you can take your camera in and out of here very, very easily and adjust how the balance is on it as well. Um, you can also adjust the height of where your camera is in the rig. So it's incredibly useful. Uh, then back here, what I added was a metal plate that we just had lying around in the shop for a while with some bolts that I got from Lowe's or Home Depot with the same threading that's on the inside of all these rods. Because if you don't know this, on the inside of 15 millimeter rods are threads that allow you to screw in uh, more rods or uh, little end caps here. That way it makes it look more professional. Um, but on the back here, I wanted some bolts so I can attach my back plate, which is now used to hold uh, my battery packs for the camera. But I used to have a bunch of different uh, metal plates back here to add some counterbalance when I'm using this as a shoulder rig because on newer, they sell these things and they really didn't think about anything behind the camera. So you need something to balance that weight out so it makes it a lot easier on you. Even though it's more weight, it's a lot easier to get more professional steady shots when you have counterbalance at the back of your camera. That's why in a lot of professional rigs, they have the battery packs on the back because that's the heaviest part of a camera rig. And so that's exactly what we did. We added these smart USB battery packs to the back of this, which allow us to have battery lasting for all of our camera and audio recording devices on here and record for up to 10 hours without even stopping. Um, so we're able to just go, 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 even if we're on a very remote location. And 
I just got some simple USB adapters on this to get to our Zoom H4n and the Canon T5i camera that we have. And I also got uh, the adapters to go to my iPhone and a GoPro if I had that on here as well that day. Now, you're gonna see this rod coming up here on the side and a microphone is up here as well. And that's to capture on location audio and regular dialogue audio. But let's say I have a boom operator that day or I'm in a studio, I'm going to add a second XLR line coming into here with a cable cuff, which is about a dollar at a uh, Home Depot near you. And that allows us to have a stress reliever to this cable that way this cable isn't pulling on the Zoom H4n all the time, and that way I can move around freely without pulling on the Zoom H4n. I'm pulling now on the rig itself. And so that's something a lot of professional rigs have as well, some sort of stress relief to that. Um, this XLR line just goes up to here to this microphone and captures exceptional audio from the front. Now you might be wondering, uh, how exactly did I mount the microphone to the rig? Uh, there's no adapter there. And so um, I just basically sacrificed this microphone clip, which is about $5 to the cause because I know I always, always have this microphone on this camera rig. So I'm never gonna need that off there. So I just basically screwed it on there and stripped the inside of it. So I can still take it off and put it back on again, but it's basically useless now on an actual mic stand, which is absolutely fine with me because I always have it on here on this rig. And that way it's permanently attached to this almost. Um, on here's just a little adapter that came with my uh, newer shoulder rig, which allows the upright bar to go to the horizontal bar. And then this is another one of those same adapters that came with the original rig to attach my top handle here. Now over here, I have my iPhone connected with a, about a three or $4 adapter right there and uh, a $13 uh, iPhone holder for tripod mount right here. And that way I can use this to monitor my GoPro cameras whenever I'm on set and using a GoPro with my big DSLRs. Or I can simply flip it around just like this. And now I can offer a teleprompter to my host, my uh, actor or actress on set that day. That way they can read the script right beside the camera lens and it looks really professional. Now on the iPhone, I'm using a free app called Parrot Teleprompter app, which comes free on the iPhone app store. Now I know Parrot Teleprompter is an actual company that sells uh, little adapters for the front of your DSLR lens. But for me, what I found is it's just as easy to do this and not buy the $100 little adapter for the front for your iPhone. And it looks just as professional in the end. So that's exactly what I did. Now with this as well, I can take this off of the tripod anytime I need and hold it by the top handle, or I can simply hold it like this with the handle down here as a shoulder rig, or I can add two more bars to this with a shoulder pad to make it even easier for my camera guys at any given time. Then I simply mount it back into the tripod and keep using it as a tripod rig. Now, if you've seen any of our Halloween parades this year, we actually covered those Halloween parades with this rig and we were able to be in the cold and all the crazy conditions of those Halloween parades and cover them without any problems for about two hours was the longest parade. Now, the thing I love about this rig is the fact that most of the parts, besides a couple like couple dollar adapters that I had to buy for this or some Velcro for the back of the battery packs, this thing is pretty much all made up of parts that came with the original newer shoulder rig that came in the mail uh, from Amazon. And so basically for $90, I built this entire thing without having to buy a whole bunch of extra stuff um, besides a couple little tiny adapters. And so that's what I absolutely love about this. It works so well and I use it on almost every production nowadays because this thing is so efficient. I just set this thing up or I pull this out of my case and I'm ready for the day. On documentary work or run and gun shoots, I can simply just pick this thing up and run around with it all day without having to worry about batteries dying on me, without having to worry about anything really. I've even taken taken this on shoots where I didn't have a case on set that day and 
people look at me like I'm shooting for news or I'm this big professional uh, guy because I have a professional rig. I'm not just running around with a DSLR. I'm running around with this thing, which makes it look 10 times more professional. And with the handles and the shoulder rig, I'm able to get so much more steady of shots using this rig that it's so worth the $90 I spent on it. So I will leave a link in the description below to the actual rig that I bought, and that way you can purchase the same exact thing and build your own kit just like this one, or take the parts all apart and build your own in your custom way that you can see fit for your custom wants and needs. So that's it, that's our custom rig for our cameras here at MHP. And this is what we use on every production. I highly encourage spending a couple hours one day building your custom rig and a couple dollars on some accessories and Velcro to build your rig for how you need it. Because really, I think I spent about four or five hours building this one day and now it saves me hours on every single production. And I really cannot see anytime soon that I can live without this rig. This is my rig for everything now. And it was so worth the investment in time and money to build this thing out. So thank you guys for joining us today on VLAMP How To Show, brought to you by MadhouseandProductions.com. See us back here every single Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a brand new episode, every day at 10.30 in the morning for a brand new video, and every first Monday of the month at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a brand new live stream and Q&A session where we answer all of your questions. So if you have a question, please do leave it in the comments down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button so you can get all this great content coming to you every single day, every week, and every month. Have a great day, everyone, and see us next time. Bye for now.